Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. How are you doing? Listen, on this morning broadcast, I'm talking about how to receive God's forgiveness. How to receive God's forgiveness. There are a lot of people walking around with a whole lot of guilt in their lives. But you need to know this morning, if you have been wrestling with guilt, there is forgiveness for you, my friend. And we are going to talk about it during this morning prayer broadcast. Oh, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, my God. Come on. When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. Come on. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Your power throughout. Come on. The universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think, and when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on an old rugged cross that on a cross my burdens my burdens gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sins i gotta sing that verse again and when i think this is for somebody that god his son not sparing sent him to die i scarce can't take it in that on an old rugged cross that on a cross my burdens gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sins mighty God then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art, how great thou art, Father in the name of jesus christ on this morning prayer broadcast everyone under the sound of my voice that's carrying a burden of guilt and wrestling with guilt set them free this morning let them know no matter what they've done that god's forgiveness is available right now to set them free from the weight of guilt from that wrong that they have done that's haunted them for years this is their morning to be set free by the power of the living God then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Come on and help me give it praise. Oh, come on and help me give it to him. Help me give it praise, give it praise. Help me give it praise, give it praise. Hallelujah. You're a good God. You're a good God. Yeah, yeah, you're a good God. You're a good God. You're a good God. Oh, you're a good God. 
You're a good God to us. You're a good God. Hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on, just help me give him praise. Oh, you're a good God. That's why we worship you. That's why we give you praise. That's why we give you glory. That's why we give you honor, Lord. You're a good God. Oh, you're a good God. Hallelujah. You're a mighty God. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus, I feel the anointing. Hallelujah. Feel the presence of God. Can you? Man, if you sense the anointing and the presence of God, just go ahead and type below this video right now. I'll be looking for your comments. If you can sense and feel his anointing and sense his presence, just go ahead and type below this video. I feel that anointing. Now, this is very important on this morning. We are talking about how to receive God's forgiveness. How to receive God's forgiveness. I want you to listen to the word of God because Jesus made this statement in Luke 24, 46 and 47. After he had risen from the dead and appeared to his apostles, he said unto them, it is written and it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. Listen to this, verse 47. And that repentance and remission of sins or repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. So we are continuing his original message that he left with his apostles. And it's an honor for me to preach to you this morning about the forgiveness of God. He loves you. You know, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish. You don't have to perish. You don't have to die and go to hell. But that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and then he said in john 3 17 for god sent not his son into the world to condemn the world jesus did not come to condemn the world jesus said i came that the world through me might be saved delivered and set free from their sins from the power of darkness so we're talking about the forgiveness how to receive god's forgiveness now watch this listen to the apostle john in first john chapter 1 verses 5 through 10 this then is the message that we have heard from him and declare unto you that god is light and in him is no darkness at all if we say that we have fellowship with him and continue to walk in darkness we are liars and do not live according to the truth that's just plain word if we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth watch this now i'm coming to the forgiveness because some of you are bound by guilt some of you have been addicted to certain things and it just seems like you can't get set free and the weight of that thing is troubling you you know what you struggle with in private you put on a good face in church and you put on a good face in front of god's people but when you get alone late at night you are tossing and turning because the enemy sees what you're struggling with and he has become abusive towards you in the fact that he keeps reminding you of your sin and it's called guilt that thing have you weighed down i can feel some of you you struggling with guilt but you about to be set free by the power of God I said you are about to be set free by the power of God now watch this so he said but if we walk in the light if we walk according to the word of God if we walk in the light as Jesus is in the light we have fellowship one with another you and Jesus you have fellowship with him and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin 
But you may be saying, Pastor, how can I walk in the light when I'm in bondage? I'm about to show you. We're getting there. Just hang with me. And listen, this is the good part here. This is why you can't. This is why some people who act as though they are better than everybody, they're full of pride. Then they're heading and they're heading to a place that mean you don't want to go to. Listen to this. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. You know, when, when the Pharisees caught that woman in adultery, they act as though they had caught some choice prize. And threw the woman out in the front of Jesus. They had a bunch of stones ready to kill her. I just, this is, I believe, John chapter 8. I love how Jesus just hammered them with the truth. Jesus said, he that is without sin, cast the first stone. Wow. The Bible says from the oldest to the youngest, they begin to be convicted by their own conscience because they knew they were all guilty before God. We are all guilty. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Our best is as filthy rags, what Isaiah said. And they threw their stones down and walked away being convicted because they know they were all guilty and they deserved to be stoned just as much as the woman who was caught in adultery. Jesus said to her, does any man condemn you? She said, no, Lord. Jesus said, neither do I. Wow. I'm sorry, man. That's life-changing words. What is he saying to you this morning? He is saying to you, I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to give you another chance. I'm here to forgive you. I'm here to set you free from your sin. I'm here to set you free from guilt. That's why he died on Calvary Cross. He died. He shed his blood. The Bible says because of Christ's blood, sin shall not have dominion over you. Now watch this. Verse 9. Here's the secret. If, uh, you know, you got to pay attention. Anytime he uses, to, anytime the apostles use the word if, it means it's contingent upon the decision you make. If we confess our sins. He, Jesus Christ, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. If we confess our sins, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness that's the key to being set free from your guilt that's the key right there you got to be willing to come clean before God and say God I have an addiction I have a bondage I have a secret sin in my life I need you to forgive me wash me in your blood the minute you do it he for, it doesn't it, 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 it's not based on feeling it's it's by faith and trust in his word he said if we confess our sins he is faithful come on help me give him praise right there i said he is faithful glory to god somebody being set free this morning if the son of god I've set you free. You shall be free indeed. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's how we overcome guilt. That's how we receive the forgiveness of God. Come clean. I can't do this without the blood of Jesus. Forgive me, God. Wash me in your blood. And he cleanses you. He delivers you. He sets you free. He sets you free from that addiction, from that secret sin that have you in chains. He is the chain breaker. He is the forgiver of sins. He loves you. That's why he died on the cross. We're not giving you a license to sin. The apostle Paul said, shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. God forbid. But he said you got to come clean. If we say that we have not sinned. We make him a liar and his word is not in us. All have sinned. And fallen short of the glory of God. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. He who covers his sins. Shall not prosper. But whoever 
confess that sin and then forsakes it finds the mercy and the forgiveness of God you got to come clean with God confess that thing before him right now I surrender all confess that sin before the Lord some of you are crying come on raise that I feel an anointing here I feel that anointing oh I surrender all, all to thee all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender listen now is the time talk to him talk to him you've been struggling with guilt he loves you this is your moment to be set free forever the gospel is the power of God put your faith in Christ the apostle Peter said in Acts 4 12 there is no other name given unto heaven whereby we must be saved Jesus said I am the way I am the truth I am the light no man can come to the Father but through me listen repeat these words say Lord Jesus forgive me of all of my sins wash me in your blood set me free from this sin set me free from this habit set me free from this secret sin that nobody knows about but you and I wash me in your blood set me free God break the chains that's holding me back I repent of my sins talk to God about it right now talk to him about it pour your heart out to him tell him what you're struggling with tell him about that guilt that's been weighing you down of that thing that you've done years ago and the devil is just keeping you in a prison of reminding you about what you did he is opening your prison doors this morning I surrender all I surrender all come on and sing it oh I surrender all I surrender all this morning oh I surrender all all to thee all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender listen tell him about it tell him about it right now tell him about it confess that thing before God that's how you get set free from it it's it's that simple you can't set yourself free but Jesus will set you free when you come clean before God and say God I'm struggling with this thing this had a hold on me too long it's tearing me apart confess it and when you confess and admit that you are guilty Jesus steps in with his forgiveness and the Bible says when if we confess our sins he is faithful Jesus is faithful and just to do what cleanse us he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and give you a clean slate open up a new chapter for you say Lord Jesus forgive me of my sins I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God you died on Calvary cross for me you were buried in a borrowed tomb and on the third day God raised you from the dead you ascended up to heaven you are now seated at the right hand of God and soon and very soon you are coming again I believe I surrender my life to you I surrender my guilt to you I surrender my sins to you God I surrender all from this day I turn my back on my guilt my sin the world the flesh and the devil to serve the true and living God if you prayed that prayer after me your sins if you meant it if you believe it with all your heart your sins are forgiven your sins are forgiven Come on, play that for me. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Jesus said, you are now clean through the word that I have spoken to you. Mighty God, I want you to type below this video. Pastor Sean, 
I have been struggling with guilt for years. But I know I'm set free this morning. I know I'm set free from that guilt on this morning. I, f- I just know like I know like I know I've been forgiven this morning. I got the victory over that guilt this morning. I'm looking for your comments below this video. And you that just surrendered your life to Jesus, type below this video. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Salvation means deliverance from sin, deliverance from sickness, deliverance from poverty. We serve a good God. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity right now to support the gospel of Jesus Christ to support God's work on this earth. We are doing the most important work on the face of the planet, preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus. Only what is done for Christ will last. We ask you to sow a seed, give an offer, give a donation to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can visit us online right now and give through the ministry secure website, seanbinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also mail in your donations to the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder ministries p.o box 117442 Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442 We appreciate you so much. We love you. God bless you. I surrender all and we sing I surrender all Mighty God you are Oh I surrender all, all to thee, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. To our YouTube viewing audience, if you're watching us for the first time and didn't have a chance to subscribe to this channel, we invite you right now to subscribe. Scroll over me and my wife's photo when the box slides out click on subscribe and then click on the gray bell that will turn on the notifications and every time we upload a new morning prayer broadcast or go live you will receive that notification and we guarantee you in the name of the lord your life will never be the same